Scientists refer to the brain as a team of rivals because the brain is a multiple structured system in which different structures fight against each other for dominance. And in order for the brain to properly operate, it must be at balance. To put this into perspective, there are essentially two parts of the brain, the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system. The prefrontal cortex is a higher functioning part of the brain which is rational and logical, and it understands consequences. But the limbic system is a primitive brain. It has no ability to delay gratification. It is pleasure-oriented and selfish. It is concerned with seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. This limbic system is also called the reward system because it is responsible for making us feel better by releasing feel-good chemicals in the brain. Drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography, and even eating activate this reward system in the brain. And from an evolutionary standpoint, this reward system goes back 600 million years before rational thought. This reward system was found in anthropoids, invertebrate phyla, and mollusks. The limbic system is also very necessary for survival. Our ancient ancestors were able to survive because they were rewarded through their behaviors such as eating and sex. But today, our brains aren't designed to deal with these ready-to-access rewards. Drugs, pornography, and other addictions overstimulate this reward system. Addictions, whatever they may be, are hardwired as a survival process. It has become a part of life just as eating or sleeping. But there is another scientifically proven technique that is shown to reverse this wiring of the brain. And included in the Truth of Addiction program, there is a video that explains step by step how to do it. You see, the brain is extremely malleable. It can be changed, formed, remapped, and rewired. Scientists call the brain's ability to change as neuroplasticity. Neurons, which are cells in the brain, are not entirely connected. When we have repetitive thoughts or behaviors, neural pathways or networks are created. These pathways are created by neurons firing or sending a signal to each other. These neurons that fire together, they wire together. But it's also true that when neurons stop firing together, the connections between them become weak and a whole new set of thought patterns and behaviors can be created. Through neural firing, behaviors are either strengthened or weakened. You see, most people take medications or pills to feel better. But medications or pills only temporarily change the brain's chemistry. And this is always a temporary chemical change. It only lasts as long as it is synthesized to last. It is never permanent. You'll always have to take another pill or another drink or another smoke to make you feel better. But when we change our neural pathways, our brain chemistry changes along with it. And this change can be permanent. There are over 100 supporting references found in this guide. Some references from published medical journals, controlled trials, and surveys. You'll also get your own videos showing you the most effective methods to decrease intrusive thoughts and cravings to help you manage your addictions long term. You'll also get a printable guide, Nutrients for Improved Recovery. Now listen to this. According to a study, Addicts that were given certain nutrients showed a 92% success rate. That's huge compared to the basic 12-step programs out there. But not only that, people that used certain nutrients in their diet were able to recover more quickly, had fewer withdrawal symptoms, and were able to manage their addictions long term. The reason that using certain nutrients was so successful is because it can restore the biochemical imbalances in the body that are caused by addiction no matter what the addiction is, because all addiction problems are largely the same. They are all chemically based in the brain. You see, addiction throws off normal neurotransmitter activity. This is why we have strong cravings for things that aren't necessarily good for us. We crave junk food or a boost of dopamine through alcohol, cigarettes, or pornography. But this biochemical imbalance can be restored through certain nutrients because the body synthesizes neurotransmitters from nutrients. Now doesn't that finally make sense? Now in the printable Nutrition for Improved Recovery Guide and video, I will show you certain foods and nutrients that restore these depleted and malfunctioning neurotransmitters. By using these key nutrients, you will probably feel a huge improvement in your mood.
Now I am the author and creator of this program that is extensively backed up by scientific data and research, and I am not just some random guy who doesn't know what addiction is like. I want to tell you that I struggled with addictions myself. In fact, I went to my first rehab when I was 17 years old. I've attended AA and I've also had part of my mouth removed because of the damage that was caused from years of chewing tobacco. And I can honestly tell you that I have managed my addictions to the point where I no longer desire them. And thousands of others have done the same. I literally went from an addict to an academic. And it was by using evidence-based and data-driven methods. This program has hundreds of supporting references. I mean, you can take a look at all the scientific research. People's lives have changed from using this program. Now what's really great is that you don't have to wait to receive the Truth of Addiction system. In fact, you can have this complete program in seconds because nothing is shipped to you. It is instantly downloadable. You can even put the audio training techniques on your iPod and listen to them whenever you want. For a limited time, you get the ebook, the training materials, the cognitive therapy training audio set, the mindfulness audio training, the nutrition for improved recovery ebook, and videos, and a lifetime of updates and upgrades.